hello everyone welcome back to the next video of this course and in this video we are going to see a two dimensional array how you can use two dimensional array and how you can alter the data insert the data and how you can relate the range to a two dimensional array so th these are all some of the stuff that we are going to see in this video in the previous video we have seen an one dimensional array and how, how you can iterate and how you can alter the database and what are the methods available in the array so that we have seen in the very last video if you haven't watched the video just click on the icon to watch that video first so let's explore about the two-dimensional array so two-dimensional array in other words we can say that it's an array of array so the just assume that a parent child and this parent contain multiple child arrays so that we call it as two-dimensional array so let me show you a simple example of two-dimensional array so let's say we have a company records and it's an array as it is a two dimensional array it's going to contain multiple arrays inside the parent array and in the company record we are going to insert the company ID and employee name and his age. So let's insert three more data. So if you see here, this is an array and inside the outer array it contains multiple child arrays and this contains three records. So this is a very basic example of two dimensional array. So now let's see how to add element to the two dimensional array. So we can add an element using a method called push let's see how to do that so you have to use the two dimensional object name dot push and here you can insert the record that you want to add so let's say five and the employee name is peter and his age is 45 so if i print this one it should insert this record as well so let's execute and see so if you see here all the five records were inserted including the last one which we have inserted using a push method so this is a one way of inserting a data to the existing two-dimensional array but this push accept one record at a time so if you want to insert multiple record or if you want to delete certain record and want to replace it with some other record then you can use a method called splice so you can use this to remove replace or add new records so the splice method basically accept n number of argument so let's see the arguments one by one so the very first one is index so it represent where you want to perform this splice operation and how many records that you want to remove from the given index so this is optional and if you want to insert any records that should goes after this two argument let's say item one item two and here you can insert a number of record so these items are completely optional so the first one is mandatory index represent where you want to perform the operation whether you want to remove or whether you want to insert or whether you want to replace so index if you give the index it will go to that index and do the stuff that you are given in the other parameter so how many records so here if you give zero it not going to remove anything but it just going to insert after the given index if you give one it will insert that particular record that you have given in the corresponding index and if you give two it will take the index and from that index it will remove the next two items so this is how the splice work so let's see how we can insert data using a splice and how we can remove one existing data so let me use the object name 
dot splice okay so i want this three to be removed okay so the index of the third employee is zero one two so two and i want to remove so i should i want to remove only this record so i should give one if i don't want to remove and i just want to insert after the third employee then i have to give zero or if i want to remove these two employee i have to give two because this two will will go and point this employee and this two represent how many records which need to be removed from this index so i want to remove the employee name Andrew so I'm going to give a one and after that I want to add a two more employee let's say six and the name of the employee is Aruna and his age is 34 and I want to insert the seventh employee his name is let's say Arjun and his age is 45 that's it so if you see the output this Andrew employee should get removed and these two records should be inserted go to view and logs so if you see that let me clear the previous log so you can see the output very clearly so if you see here one two and third record was removed and it was replaced with sixth and seventh employee and the remaining two records which is remain unaltered so this is how you can remove and at the same time you can do an insert operation. So this splice method is very powerful. And the next thing is we are going to see how to alter the existing employee data. So let's say a mic age was mistakenly marked as 21 and if you want to update it as 25, let's see how to do that. So you can do that using an index. So the index of the employee mic is one you can specify that and here you can do the alteration let's change that to 25 let me put a logger after this so that you can see the updated age of my so if you see that it gets updated to 25 so this is a one way of updating the existing records in two-dimensional array so now how we can relate the two-dimensional array to the range in a sheet so if you take this example this first array represent the row and this represent the second row and this represent the third row and in the first array if you take each element it represents the column so this is how you can relate the two dimensional array to particular range on your google spreadsheet so let let me put the same thing here so you will have a better understanding john and his age is 22 mike so how can you get all these details in a two dimensional array so we can get that using a method name called get values so let's see how to do that first you need to locate this spreadsheet one get active spreadsheet and you should get this particular sheet by its name sheet one dot get range so here you you need to use this third method get range which accept rows and columns and number of rows and number of columns so this is in the very first record the row starts with one and the columns starts in the a so we have to give one and this number of rows represent how many rows or that how many rows you want to fetch the range so here if you see four rows and the number of column is three dot get 
so we can put that get values so if you see here so this get value the data type of get values object and if you use a get values it return an array of array the two dimensional array that is what we want right so we have to go with get values now let's assign the range to a variable called range we will print and see how the data gets stored in this object so let me come out this locker go to view and locks so if you see here you can see that it's an array of array in other words it's a two dimensional array and in each array you can see the row data here one shown so it work exactly in the same way that we saw in the company rec object so this is how you can get the values from a range in a google spreadsheet so let's see how you can assign these values two dimensional values to a google spreadsheet as a range so we can do that using a method called set values just opposite to get values so we need to copy the same stuff okay so instead of this we can do something else let's see so i want to insert this company record from the row 6 so my row starts with 6 and number of columns should start with a so i will give one so here we can clearly see that 1 2 3 4 and 6 and 7 so still we are not sure how many records this company rec contain so you can take care of that using a method called length which will return the number of records and if you use the zeroth position with that you can find the length of column so we insert this company rec to this particular range let's use a method called set values if you use set values then you can see that it act accept two dimensional array and here you need to pass your 2d array value that's it now let's execute and see how it work so here you go you can see that one two and third was already replaced with six and seven four five that's it so this is how you can get value from a range and you can set the value to the particular range so in the very next video we will see how you can use advanced array functions like filter map and reduce method in the upcoming video and if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care